Hey, welcome back here on the Senior Network. We were discussing, Tatiana, about home health, obviously, and your role as a marketer. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about, in general, home health, for the folks that don't know. That is providing nursing, PT, OT. Tell us a little bit about what that services That's are. That's correct. All okay. of those services. Okay. Um, we also include speech therapy, um, social work okay. um, for maybe some of our more complex cases, um, patients and families that have different dynamics and maybe need a little sure. more assistance. Um, and we, so we'll get the referrals for, you know, whatever the patient needs, sure. but we also have to go and see the patient and determine if they are homebound. It's really important. Um, that's a Medicare guideline. We can't just come to anyone's home. It has to be someone who's sure. homebound. Yeah. Um, so what that means is basically um, someone who, it might be a taxing effort for them to leave their home. It doesn't mean they can't leave their home. It's right. just um, maybe they have an assistive device like a cane or a walker, right. and maybe they need assistance leaving the home. Um, and then there's there are other you know indicators that could qualify them for home health. So those are things that we look at. We're all you know trained in that. So sure. Yeah. And I'm assuming, Brad, you, you work a lot with home health companies, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. When they're in the homes, they recognize a need, reach out to you guys. Absolutely. So it's, we're all kind of a team here, I feel like. You know? right. So uh, uh, hearing loss can be discovered by not only the person that has loss, but a home health provider, a loved one. So we do get referrals that way, and we do work very closely with They can recognize that need right there. Mm -hmm. yes. And when that, that referral process, I'm assuming, most folks come to you, correct? Correct. So if, if, if home health recognizes that, you'd have a family member or someone maybe transport them to like AccuQuest and oh, absolutely. do the testing. Yeah, or if we notice that maybe their um, you know, hearing has decreased, um, maybe their hearing aid isn't properly working and needs to be, you know, take, absolutely. Yeah, or yeah. doesn't fit properly. I mean, right. Yeah. Now, I know Pruitt Home Health is a very large organization and spread out. What areas do you service yourself? So our office is based out of Okatee, and okay. myself and another marketer cover the whole territory for the office. So my territory is Hilton Head, Bluffton, Okatee, the Hardyville area, sure. um, and Ridgeland. Right. Mm -hmm. And Brad, I know we've talked about this before. You're, you're, you're pretty much, there are multiple offices across the country, right? Right. There's 125 last I checked. Yeah. So and you, you, you kind of run the show here. At I this, run the show here yeah. in Bluffton and also in our Savannah office as well. So they're both part-time clinics at the moment. Right. Well, tell us a little bit, Brad, we talked about this in the past before our viewers don't really know. Training. What, what kind of training do folks like yourself, because I know you're a specialist and right. you've been through a lot of training. Tell us a little bit about so that. So all the training I received was actually through my company. Okay. So they initially hired me. They moved me to Chicago and I was there for about four months to learn all the tricks and the trades of being an audiologist right. without actually having the degree. So then when we get sent to our respective states, then we have to apply for licensure. So we have to go through the process with DHEC. So we have to do oh, so a, that's by state? By state, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't realize so that. So I have a license in South Carolina and I'm working on getting my license in Georgia because I'm new to that one. Great, so now do you have an office in, in Georgia, Savannah area? I do, yeah, okay. it's over off of um, West Montgomery Crossroad. It's by Abercorn, the mall and everything over there. Yeah. Right. For folks that don't know, um, Tatiana, I mean, as far as, how are you guys paid? Is that is that mainly a Medicare? Um, yes, so we do. We get reimbursed by Medicare. Um, we also take certain insurances. Oh, sure. Um, but we don't have, you know, any time I get a referral, I always run it. I don't say, oh, well, we don't take that insurance because honestly, it changes every day. I understand. So, yeah. We notice the same thing with hearing aids. Yeah. Benefits will change over time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and that is because of just insurance plans, you mean, changing? or? Yep, the individual policies will change. Right. Whether it's in network, out of network, Correct. it just depends on how they how they pay. Interesting, I didn't realize mm -hmm. that. Uh, and from a home health side, um, you know, obviously I'm with Right at Home Home Care, and we, we handle the supportive care side and work with you folks a lot. That's right. Um, when we go into the home, we you know we like to obviously we bring a nurse in and we do a plan of care and set that up. And I know working with you folks, that's kind of the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. When you go in, a nurse goes in, kind of does the evaluation, is that that's right? That's right, and the nurse um, determines the plan of care, um, assesses the patient's needs, their um, knowledge of, you know, whatever health issues are going on, and right. determines what they need to be educated on, maybe what the family needs to be educated on, um, and maybe any medications they need to order, or, sure. you know, yep. things like that, so. Now, can someone have, you mentioned, uh, PT, physical therapy, can someone have nursing and, and physical therapy at the same time? Absolutely, yeah. 
as long okay. as it's with the same company, it's not considered a duplication of services. Awesome. So we could have, I mean, and a lot of our patients will have nursing, PT, OT, speech. Right. I mean, all of Great them. Great information. So. Thanks, guys. We need to take a break. Thank you. Right back.